talk about beats. We got a nice 72 hertz beat going on right here. Now I'll turn on my other guy here that's at 70 hertz. Let's see what happens. Hear that? That's called the beat frequency. I have two waves interfering with each other. I got a wave, sound wave produced at 72 hertz coming out of here, sound wave produced at 70 hertz coming out here, and these two waves are interfering with each other. And what you're hearing now, that's called the beat frequency. And we can find what that frequency is simply by subtracting the two frequencies and taking the absolute value. So in this case, the beat frequency is 2 hertz. That's 2 cycles per second. So twice a second, it should go like this. So wah, wah, wah. Seems about right. Now, if I want to reduce the frequency, I make them closer together. So let's go down to 71 hertz here, and it should get make it longer. Smaller frequency, larger period. Wong, wong, wong. It's definitely about once a second now. Right, let me turn it up so you guys can hear it at home. All right, here we go. Now, if I make it even closer, it'll make it extend even longer. So now I got about half a frequency difference. And therefore, the period is two seconds. The beat frequency being that half a hertz difference, so half a cycle per second. Now you can see it goes long, It's much longer. Now, if I make them farther apart, the beat frequency goes up, and therefore the period goes down. Now you hear it, right? The difference is, well, let's get it exactly, it's right about uh, 5 hertz, right? 75, 70, 5 hertz. So we should hear 5 cycles a second. I think that's what we're hearing. Now, of course, we go higher. 10 hertz. You get the idea. I'm going to do a real, real super rough. Uh, drawing on the board, which sort of will give you the idea of what's going on here. So out of sound one, you have some signal with this frequency. Out of sound two, you have some signal here with a slightly larger frequency. These waves get added. It's just a matter of addition and subtraction. So let's add them up. Well, so here's my addition line. And if I take the peak here, in the beginning, they're pretty well aligned. It's almost aligned with the peak here. So if I come down here, well, it's going to be pretty hot. I go a little further, well, let's go to this point. So this guy's at zero. This guy's not quite at zero. Let's draw a zero line here. Please, the black thread. Remember, I'm doing this roughly. You can see sort of an exact thing that's generated on the computer at sites like Wikipedia. But this gives you the idea. Now, the next point of interest, like I said, is here. So it's zero, because this is at zero. Zero plus about half the amplitude. So say down here. Oh, let's try to keep things straight as best I can. And then here we have this guy's at zero. This guy's at negative. So going straight down there, we jump down here. And continuing as such, here when this guy's at, his, at the bottom, he's hitting this guy almost at the bottom. So we start to trace out the wave. Now I'll jump ahead a little bit. When this guy's up here at zero, he's getting this guy down there. So we go a little negative here. Uh, now when this guy's at zero, this guy's at the top. So we come back up here. And now we take this guy at zero, a little bit lower than the top. And then we let's jump ahead again. So here we go, negative. The negative point here, the bottom, is almost lined up with the top here. So right in this area, we're going to be hovering around zero. And you can see right here, lines up pretty nicely with there. So what I'm trying to show is you get some pattern like this. And then it'll start growing again. 
And that's what you see with the B frequency. And more generally, and again, I refer you to the computer for more exact drawings, but you'll get some pattern that goes like this. And you can take a wave envelope, and then the frequency of this guy, so this would be the period, that is the beat period, and therefore then you can get the beat frequency. So that's basically what's going on. You got the demonstration, and then this formula is very simple and tells you what the beat frequency ought to be.